Okay, prisoners, here's the recap before the piss poor fucking analysis. Two families have their daughters taken and resort to inhuman means to get them back. Kellen Dover is the main protagonist in the show, and he's one of the fathers of the missing children, who's essentially that stubborn, religious, cold, and bullheaded father type we all know about or are all too familiar with. This isn't taken where the father is a highly trained ex military type. Keller is an outdoorsman at best and he does a carpentry for a living. So he certainly has the tools, so to speak, to interrogate someone when push comes to shove. But not exactly the training. Keller doesn't have any investigative skills, but he sees a man who obviously seems to be responsible for his daughter's disappearance. The suspect who obviously seems responsible is seen torturing a dog and singing the song that one of the girls was singing before she went missing. And even said, the girls weren't crying until I left them. The suspect is mentally challenged and the man is named Alex Jones. Regretfully, there's not much to say about Alex other than the movie puts him in enough poor situations where at least for me, you could empathize with Keller taking him captive. If I had to praise Alex's character for anything, his screams when being tortured are rather unsettling, so far as to say it's very believable. A second jury protagonist is Detective Loki. Once again, if this were an action movie or otherwise, Loki would be an over-the-top super cop who would swoop in with his amazing IQ and save the day. Loki, despite having solved all of his cases, doesn't inspire a lot of greatness. He asks all the right questions, he pesters the right people for the right facts, but there's nothing really amazing about the man that he does. He doesn't possess any amazing martial arts, and he only really shines because all the other police officers that he works with seem to be there to punch a clock. Captain Richard O'Malley, aka Loki's fat sack of shit boss, pays the case just enough attention required by law before he could shuffle it along and move on. O'Malley doesn't get a lot of airtime, but he seems to be an excellent example of someone getting a top spot simply because he has the experience, regardless of passion or competency. The climate in Prisoners is always cold and rainy, making it easy to feel miserable. There are a lot of plot twists to keep you guessing and for me it didn't feel convoluted. After re-watching this movie a second time, I still felt that it was a blast and I highly recommend it. 